Hello, welcome back to Bamboo Batu. Today we've got a hot topic for you, talking about running versus clumping bamboo, runners and clumpers. It's a hot topic because a lot of people think there's two different kinds of bamboo, running and clumping. Actually, there's about uh, 1,400 different kinds of bamboo, different species, but it is the easiest thing to just lump them into two classes, two categories, or what botanists call tribes. The running bamboo, also called uh, temperate bamboo because it grows in the cooler climates, and clumping bamboo, also called uh, tropical bamboo because it grows in the more tropical climates. There's some fancy... Um, some fancy scientific words that botanists like to use for running bamboo, leptomorph, which means like running, basically lepto to run, and monopodial, which describes the, the rhizomes. They have a one, uh, a one track mind, so to speak. They just run outward. And clumping bamboo called pachymorph, like they're packed basically, or sympodial, meaning they're kind of clustered together. They they just bend upwards. As you can see in the diagram, it's pretty clear the different growth habits. The running bamboo, that rhizome, it runs parallel to the ground, runs outward, uh, just keeps on going. Uh, you have one mature culm there at the beginning, and then the rhizomes go outward. And eventually you can't tell where it begins and where it ends. It just goes out in different directions. And as it does, new buds, new shoots come up and grow upward and become new culms or poles. And the clumping one, the clumping style, clumping bamboo, the, the rhizomes bend upwards. They come out from the main, the main stalk or the, the original cluster, and they just bend upwards, kind of U-shaped. And so it's pretty easy to tell where the center of the plant is more or less, more or less because they grow in you know, tight, tight clusters, clumps. Uh, these two pictures are a little bit exaggerated for the purpose of the diagram because different bamboos grow differently. Some of clump, some clumping bamboos <clears throat> can be kind of open clumping. We call them open clumpers. They, they spread out a bit more, although they do have that same pachymorph rhizome shape. And then there's running bamboos that run kind of slowly. They don't run very far. So you don't get a, they don't become really invasive the way that other running bamboos do. But this is basically the difference, what's going on underground uh, when we talk about running bamboo versus clumping bamboo. The other thing, like I mentioned, is the clumping bamboo is considered tropical, whereas the, the running bamboo is considered temperate. So in the diagram here of, of uh, many different genus of bamboo, genuses or genre of bamboo. Uh, the black names are tropical bamboo clumpers and the light green names are the temperate bamboo, the runners. Now there are a couple of exceptions to that when you go up into the Himalayas there above India. You've got Fargasia, for example, is clumping but it is temperate. It grows, it's like the most cold, hardy varieties of bamboo that there are. And yet it's a, run, it's a clumping bamboo, which is really unusual, but nature is full of surprises. And Himalaya columnus, also a temperate bamboo, but it does have a clumping growth habit. So kind of interesting, some of those exceptions. But for the most part, you have the tropical clumpers clustered around the equator. And then as you work your way northward, you get more into the temperate running bamboos. Like Phyllostachys, for example, the big one up there is, is probably the most common uh, genus of running bamboo. And then you can see there's, there's all sorts of varieties of tropical clumping bamboo. And so let's take a look. Here's some running bamboo. Um, it does spread out. And it can spread out quite beautifully, like it is in this picture. This is Moso bamboo, Phyllostachys edulis is the botanical name. That's very common in China. That's what they make most bamboo flooring with, and bamboo clothing, and bamboo kitchenwares. It's uh, very widespread. It grows really well, especially in China. It just it just thrives in, the, in these big open forests. 
And the problem people have with running bamboo is they plant it in places that aren't open forests, and then it starts running across the street or running into the street. Here's some, some roots. This is probably Phyllostachys aria, golden bamboo, very common species that people plant in front of their house. It makes a nice privacy hedge. It uh, grows quick, quickly, fills in fast, but it also escapes pretty fast too. It runs, it really does. And here it is digging its way through the asphalt. That's how, uh, that's how aggressive bamboo can be. And more to the point, here is a rhizome, a running rhizome. It's running right across the yard. Um, you can see that it is just going out of control. Kind of cool. Uh, but if you're trying to keep it contained, it could be problematic. Uh, let's take a closer look at that. There it is, uh, the rhizome of running bamboo. So if you see that little notch there, see there's a little groove in the, in the bamboo rhizome. You'll see those grooves also in the bamboo poles and the combs. And if you see that groove, not all bamboo has that groove. You might think that's just a normal thing that bamboo does, but that is an indication that you're looking at a phyllostachys, genus phyllostachys, uh, which includes uh, about 50 or 60 different species, I think, but they all are going to be running bamboo. So if you're not sure, if you're at the nursery and you're checking out some bamboo, you're like, ah, I don't want to get a runner. It's going to take over and invade my yard and invade my neighbor's yard. I really want a clumper, but I can't tell. If you see that little groove, then you know it's phyllostachys and you know that it's a runner. Now, unfortunately, there's other runners out there that don't have that groove. So if you don't see the groove, it's not necessarily a clumper. But if you do see the groove, then you know it's a runner. It's a, it's a member of the phyllostachys genus if it's got that little groove. Um, it's called the it's called the sulcus groove. That's the uh, botanical name that we use for it. Now, some clumping bamboo, on the other hand, looks like this. You can see it grows in a big clump, hence the name clumping bamboo. <clears throat> on the left there, this is in a botanical garden in France. They had a real nice collection, bamboo, nicely man maintained. And then on the right, that looks like some dendrocalamus, probably in Indonesia, Southeast Asia. Just a massive, massive clumping cluster clump of bamboo right there. And you can see they've been harvesting the combs. There's a couple stumps there in the front that they sawed off. They probably should have sawed them down a little bit lower, closer to the ground, but we're not here to nitpick. And uh, here's some more clumpers. Uh, these guys are spread out. Uh, these are individual clumps. So each little cluster there is a separate individual plant. These are probably some variety of bambusa, um, another popular genus of bamboo. <clears throat> includes maybe maybe a hundred different species, I think, uh, mostly tropical and subtropical. And this looks like this looks like a commercial farm where they're growing bamboo for some some product, some purpose. And here's another collection of bamboo clumps. Uh, beautiful picture there. You really get that forest feeling, but you can tell that unlike the first forest that we looked at that was just spread out. These are, these are kind of little clusters, little clumps basically. And here's a big clump. This looks like some variety of Dendrocalamus. If I had to guess, I'd say Dendrocalamus giganteus. Very, very common in Southeast Asia. Um, could be Sri Lanka. I've seen, I've seen clumps like that down there. Really just really impressive, uh, massive tropical bamboo. And some species grow in these really tight clumps like that, very densely clumped. And other clumpers, depending on the species, could be a little more spread out. Uh, the clumpers down in South America, the Guadua, they tend to be more and more spread out. But you can tell that they're still they're still clumping. But so that's uh, yeah, those are clumpers and those are runners. And now you know the difference. And don't be afraid of the runners. People don't like runners. They think they're going to take over, but it's okay. Look, they're beautiful, beautiful forest. Uh, they just need some space. And if you don't have space, maybe don't plant a runner. But if you really want to plant like a species like this, and it is a runner, then just bury, um, bury some kind of border around it. Use some kind of rhizome barrier to protect it, to, uh, to contain it, that is. 
so it doesn't so it doesn't um, spread out into your garden and go into your neighbor's yard and under the fence because they're uh, they don't see fences. You put up a fence and the running bamboo. It's like, where's the fence? I don't see a fence. They just go, they go under. If somebody's got a sprinkler system next door, they're going to sniff out that water source and they're going to run right to it. So yeah, use a rhizome barrier or even better yet, dig a trench around it. Dig a nice trench, maybe a foot deep, maybe a foot wide. Uh, if you don't like the look of it, you can fill it with like dried leaves or something. But the point is you can get into that trench and when the runners, when those rhizomes start coming, spreading out, you can catch them at that trench and cut them back real easy. And another thing about runners, interesting thing is if you harvest the combs, if you harvest those poles in the middle, then then the, the bamboo doesn't feel so confined. It doesn't feel trapped. And so it's not gonna have this tendency to try and spread out so much. It'll concentrate on filling in the gaps instead. So if you have some older combs in your running bamboo grove, you know, go in and cut those out and make space for new growth and that'll keep your, your grove looking happy and it'll keep it from spreading out too much. And then you'll have yourself a happy garden and hope that helped. Hope that made sense. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, then you're in the right place. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Leave a comment, tell your friends, share it with your loved ones, make Bambi Batu your new favorite and take it easy. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.